morning guys and welcome back to a new vlog today is monday um the first of june which is insane i cannot believe that it's already june it's crazy um yeah i've got no makeup on today i'm gonna have a fresh no makeup day because my skin just needs a little breather um so yeah it's monday it's about quarter to twelve i'm gonna make lunch soon because i didn't have breakfast stupidly and i'm really really hungry so i'm gonna make myself like a yummy like mexican poke bowl thing um but yeah i hope you're all really well um i've not vlogged obviously you probably guys probably seen some vlogs quite recently but i've not actually vlogged in probably like a week or so i think um but yeah i hope you guys have been enjoying all the videos recently um i've still been really enjoying um vlogging but this weekend i didn't vlog because i was obviously social distancing but i was like having family time so i went to see my nanny um stood outside her house for a while and then we went and dropped off food to jordan's parents as well which is all lovely so yeah i've seen some family which has been absolutely lovely um i think things definitely feel like they're getting better which is just so good i am probably Definitely ready for normal life to return now, I think. Um, especially now Jordan's gone back to work. He's got a new job. Um, yeah, I'm kind of like, hmm, what do I do with my time? But I think I'm seeing Chloe in a couple of days, which will be so lovely because she just lives a little bit away from me um, right now. And we're going to do a social distancing little meetup. So, so yeah, I'm all good. And I hope you guys are all really good too. Um, I'm just going to sunbathe today, I think. And try and eat healthy-ish just because I've not been eating too healthy the last few days. Um, also, I've got this little subscription box I want to show you. It's so cute. Basically, this brand called Mother Nature. I just think this is the best idea ever. They basically... Um, create subscription boxes for when you're on your period so obviously it's for girls um but it's absolutely gorgeous like can you see how cute this is so basically you take a test on their website this isn't ad by the way they just sent it me kindly um and it, and it tells them what you like to do on your period how you feel in your period and they make the box according to you so um i've in mine i've got a sheet mask sorry it's quite loud outside today um i've got a sheet mask loads of treats like sweet chocolate this little cute i think it might be a toffee apple i don't know um some bath bombs loads of candles which i'm obsessed with because i love candles then there's like loads of different pads so there's bigger ones smaller ones there's tampons because i said to them that i prefer using pads mostly so obviously they gave me more pads but there's a few tampons as well some sweets this lovely little chocolate thing which i'm so excited to eat and then there is um it also keep came with a heat patch but i i've actually already used that on my back because i'm really suffering at the moment with a bad back um since lockdown it's really strange but yeah it's caused me a lot of pain so i use that on my back um and then at the bottom there is some microwavable popcorn which would be so good for like um a chill night and all of that so yeah i just wanted to give them a little shout out because i think this is the most wonderful cutest idea ever and i'm obsessed so yeah mother nature i'll leave that instagram link down below you can order one for yourself and have a little treat when you are feeling a bit rough <laughs> a bit of a natural tan going on so i'm very very happy about that but does any of you guys i don't know if this happens to anyone else my face never ever tans as fast as my body it's really strange so i'll get freckles i don't know if you can see because this camera makes my skin a bit blurred um yeah i get loads of freckles but my face just doesn't tan at the same rate and it's so annoying so it kind of looks like a fake tan but whatever um but yeah i'm enjoying the tan life it's so nice getting some actual sun on my face and it's definitely made my skin a lot better as well last uh five or ten minutes i've just been trying to get an instagram shot of my amazing new shoes like have you ever seen anything so beautiful in your life and i've just got some little flowers put out a white background and um got this little mirror from wilco's i need, still need to paint this but i just haven't got around to it i just can't really be asked <laughs> um but yeah this is like a little behind the scenes of an Instagram. Um, I've just taken quite a lot already. Um, so I'll probably just go through these and then edit them. Oh, the flowers look so pretty, don't they? Oh. Um, but yeah, I just try to like get loads of different angles and then um, choose the best one. So I'll go just for like a lot of different angles. Get some like in the mirror like that or like that that looks quite cool and then i will just go through them all and um, edit them on lightroom i decide which one i want to post because kind of like a content i've not got anything to post today and yeah thank you guys all for giving me so much love on instagram recently i've gained quite a lot recently which has been amazing um and i'm glad you're all loving my posts i've done like a few little uni 
like graduate ones recently and then obviously a lot of fashion I do a lot of food on my stories which I've been loving um, and I didn't actually vlog making the gyros but if you guys saw it on my Instagram um, I put it in the little home cooking icon highlight thing so you can go and see how I made it it was halloumi gyros and it was so so yummy um, but yeah thank you for all the love on Instagram I love you all very very much um, I'm just going to take a few more pickies and then I'm going to make lunch So these are just some of the bits that I've been loving in my salads. This M&S teriyaki sauce, unreal. Always, as you guys know, I always put some dried tomatoes in. Been loving, also it matches my nails. Oh my God, I love it. Um, been absolutely loving sweet corn. Don't know why I've never loved it before, but the bomb. Nacho dip, got some guacamole. delicious like poke bar mexican style thing so good guys easy to make and really healthy so i'm gonna wrap jordan's up when he gets back and i'm gonna eat this outside i'm hoping it's still sunny but it does look like it's a bit overcast now oh no hopefully it's still sunny because i want to get this tan on uh, but yeah delicious guys and this and sour cream for me is like the winning finish <laughs> and I'm reading um, this book that I've been reading for literally months, um, no not months, I'm actually really enjoying it but I'm just reading so slowly at the moment and it's yeah, very exciting so I think when, um, so I think when Jordan, sorry I don't know if you can see me, when Jordan comes back from work, um, me, him and um, his flatmate are going to go and look at turtles. I'm so excited because Jordan really wants to buy a turtle, so um, the lion's awful. So, um, so yeah, I'm literally so excited and I want him to get it before I go back to London. So, hopefully, I'm praying they've got them today because then you actually might get one, you know. Just got back from doing a little shop. Um, she's got a few bits to top us up because I like my specific things and when I run out, it makes me a bit sad. So, yeah, I'll give you a little, a little haul if you want, lads, but... Yeah, it's got a few bits. Spent fifteen pounds in there, and I'm doing this new thing where I'm basically um, keeping track of um, everything that I spend in a week on my notes. Just because obviously I'm furloughed at the moment and money's kind of tight. So well, it's going to be in a month or so when I start paying rent again in London. Um, it's going to be pretty <laughs> tight. So I'm just trying to keep track, and then I can like let myself. Like buy clothes and stuff more if I know how much I'm actually spending I can try and leave like a little bit of money to treat myself as well so yeah that's what I'm doing I'm gonna go on and pack this and I'll show you what I got also how pink my tree new train is like I love this outfit I like the tones of it this thing I got from Lidl is this smoky barbecue pork pork um this the calories these aren't actually that bad for you thought it'd be a lot worse and um, but basically my plan was tonight to make Jordan um barbecue pulled pork and coleslaw tacos i went to Lidl and co-op and neither of them had tacos so yeah i don't know what we're gonna do about the situation maybe we just have to get bread rolls instead i don't know i'm gonna ask him when he gets home um i've got some olives because we absolutely love munching on olives whether it's to start and um, for a meal or just like sat outside in the sun olives are just so good and so pang um i've got a few packets of this because i've been having this so much um some vine tomatoes a tub of coleslaw 
to go with the pulled pork because that's delicious. Um, two more boxes of prawns because these last four lunches, so like half each, which is, well, like four lunches for me or two for me and Jordan, if that makes sense, because we have half each. So they're actually pretty good, really. And the ones in Little are so cheap. So um, yeah, found a way to eat prawns on not spending much. Some cucumber, some more... Um, what's it called sweet corn so I've been absolutely been loving sweet corn recently um some soy milk I wanted to get almond but they had no almond left and then last some cucumber and then lastly um some cauldron organic tofu because they had this in like the special buyer section in um little and it was reduced loads so yeah I've not had this in ages um so I might have some like noodly things with this yeah I'm gonna pop this away um How'd you do it? Two forks. I've got two forks. Is that cooked? No. Yeah, I, your TV makes me feel like my brain is dying. Sorry, but that's what... My TV what? Your, your TV makes me feel like my brain is like turning to mush. It's nice that it shuts off. No. It makes me feel like a tramp. The lady in the tramp. I'll start there. I'm the lady. Are you showering today? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was a good guest on it. I shower every day. Yeah, I do. I know. I, I, I just... I just... I have, yeah. I know. That's just the one day that happened. <laughs> since half seven I've not really moved um I'm just gonna put you up here you can probably tell I'm really not a morning person I'm literally feeling a bit dazed um I'm kind of getting to the point I know it's not really to, it's not like I'd proper isolation anymore but I'm kind of getting to the point where I feel a bit like um I have no purpose right now and I don't know what to do with myself um I've not even got any brand campaigns going on at the moment on social so not got anything to work on for that really apart from just like the standard like making my standard content and vlogs and stuff which obviously I love doing but I've not got anything like proper going on at the moment I do you think um so yeah I think but then again I think today is the last day of sunshine in Nottingham for a while so I'm just gonna make the most and sunbathe as much as possible today and top up my tan have some my like, nice food um, Jordan's obviously gone to work, so, so yeah, that's the plan really, um, <clears throat> I think I'll just sunbathe today, um, and that's about it, so, yeah, this morning I've been watching, I watched, um, Melissa Tatum's vlog, or what else I watched, that's about it, and then I'm watching, um, uh, Kate Hutchins, What I Eat in a Day video, because she's so good, she's so nice to watch, she's so, like, relaxing, um, yeah. Um, and have you seen these ridiculous tan lines like that? It just looks so stupid. I hate having, like, white boobs and the rest of me is tanned. But anyway, we moved. So that's why I've got on this top because I'm going to go outside and try and get this bit a bit more tanned. Um, I was going to film some videos today because I've got the flats myself. But I'm thinking... On the weather it says this is, a, this is the last day of sun so I really want to get out there and make the most of it you know get my last bit of tan in also I'll try and link this top but I just think it's most likely going to be sold out on ASOS because you know the drill at the moment everything is sold out under the sun it's so annoying so but if it's in stock I will try and link it but I can't promise you we'll also try and link this nail varnish as I've had quite a few questions um on which one I use it's literally just the Rimmel 60 second the one I looked on Superdrug that was also sold out
So yeah, got my usual seasoning bits, got a bit of coleslaw from last night, some cheddar, sweet corn, got my little boats, got some rice in the microwave, I'm gonna put on some teriyaki sauce on the rice, and it's gonna be delicious. I'm just heating. These tacos definitely are not as yummy as the ones last night with um, pulled pork, but um, they're still really good actually. But I think I do prefer the hard ones overall, like the crunchy ones. But they're quite nice, so I'd recommend guys, they're really yummy. Some ice water with little gratings of cucumber in it. I saw, um, I saw uh, Kate Hutchins do this in her vlog, like great cucumber, and I just thought what a nice refreshing idea. So yeah, I done that reading my book and yeah, it's not ideal to be there here because literally everyone walks past. And some of the neighbours, they're all lovely, but I can't be asked to chat today. So hopefully they'll see me and Grace in my book and not speak to me. <laughs> we're going to have um, some, I got this like gorgeous soda bread. So we're going to have some like balsamic dressing, oils and bread for a starter for dinner. And then Jordan's having a steak and I'm going to make some crispy like tofu stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm really, really hungry. I've eaten quite a lot today. But I suddenly just felt like so hungry when we went on a walk. So yeah, back now to make food and I'm gonna pop um, some of this dressing. A yummy starter of some bread and some um, oils, balsamic. So I'm gonna munch this off and maybe make my tofu. I think I am hungry enough for like tofu as well as this. So I've just had, um, well I'm just eating my breakfast, I've got sourdough with mashed avocado um, mozzarella and I forgot to put basil on it, I'm really annoyed about that, I, was, I just felt like I couldn't end this vlog, I think this vlog will go out a long time after the situation has happened, um, or like the raw situation, um, but because I've got a few vlogs to post already, but I just couldn't go off the vlog without mentioning um, the George Floyd murder <clears throat> and to be honest like i actually have no words for it and i've really really struggled with putting anything on my socials the last few days just because i don't know what to say and i think that sounds awful but i just i just feel like another white person saying something and trying to act like i'm all clued up and i'm really not um like i really want to start reading more books and stuff and i read some books at uni about racism um or like um narrative stories based on real life events stuff like that um in my post colonialism colonialism module um but i feel like that wasn't enough like i feel like i haven't read enough on today's current situation with racism um yeah, any book recommendations you have down below um leave, please leave them down below for me i grew up in such a white society like honestly if there were black people in my town it when i was very very young it would almost be a bit of a shock because that's how white it was and that has made the effects of that has made me so i don't want to say the wrong thing and i'm so scared of saying the wrong thing but i feel like i just have to address it on the vlog instead of just being like afraid and leaving it you know what i mean because i saw um a quote saying like if you don't just ignore something if you're uncomfortable with it and um yeah what was i saying like my schools and everything they were just so white like it was ridiculous really but it's just the area where i lived it just there was no black people and that i was speaking to my friends about it last night actually and they kind of agreed with me um that left me as a young girl growing up feeling so so reserved and naive about racism because i never had any black friends so i never had that like 
feeling of seeing my black friends being um, like first hand um, victimised or hurt by words or by you know harassment or anything and I think when you've experienced something first hand it always makes it more real for you if that makes sense so growing up I never had that and I think I have grown up so naive and so reserved to the whole um, to the whole issue of racism and I just feel like guilty for that because um, I just I've always been against racism obviously I've always hated it so much but I don't think I've thought about the little things and about how much it really truly affects and devastates people um, and this whole situation which it shouldn't have done but this whole situation has actually really made me think and has really made me like feel sad about how kind of ignorant I've been to it. So yeah, I just really want to educate myself um, and not just make it about a social media campaign. I want to, you know, research and read books about it and just really like connect with the issue, if that makes sense. Like I really just, I just want to connect with it and, you know, like read it and really take it in and understand the effects it has. And yeah, it's just... I thought I'd just come on and have an honest chat about it. Um, it's very, very scary talking about this. I personally find it very, very scary because I've never, it's never been a big topic in my life growing up. Um, so I always think like, I'm gonna say the wrong word, I'm gonna use the wrong terminology. And that's obviously all my own fault. Like, just cause I grew up in such a white society, like it doesn't mean that I have to be ignorant to it, but it's just, I don't know. It's just, I've never been a racist person ever <laughs> and that's just kind of how I've always thought like I've always hated racism but I've never deeped it and thought about the fact that it actually is such a prominent issue and it goes on and affects black people's lives every day I just wanted to acknowledge it on my vlog because I couldn't just go on day after day um um just vlogging normally and not mentioning it because it is just the most horrific thing um and what's happened to George Floyd and seeing the video footage is just like heartbreaking and I just yeah but I just want to feel more in tune with it and more in touch with it if that makes sense so yes um right I love chats I love you all so much um stay positive and I will see you in my next vlog Mwah.